Hey there, YouTube. Today's video is going to be a tutorial on how to create a shutdown script, a power menu, something similar to this. This here is the uh, power menu that's going to be uh, on Linux Hub version 3.0, but I'm going to show you how to create a simple one using GAD. Now, this one right here has reboot, shutdown, logout, suspend, switch user, and cancel. And, you know, to get these, uh, these certain, uh, functions to work on every system is going to be a little different so for example if you're on ubuntu the functions or the commands are different if you're on open box the commands are different and here we're using the xfce so the commands are different so you have to figure out the, what the command is for like logout suspend switch user things like that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do a simple one just just going to have the shutdown reboot and and uh logout and that's just going to be a simple one. But like I said, if you want to put these extra options on here, you have to figure out the system you're on and figure out their commands. All right. And you can see this one right here actually comes with a timer. So the timer, you can see it on top. Once it gets down all the way to the bottom, it automatically closes. So that's why if you change your mind or if you don't want to shut down your computer, you could just let it go or you could just click on the cancel button right here and boom, it'll just turn it off. And if you do want to shut it down, then, you know, you, you can either reboot, shut down, log out, suspend, switch user, cancel. You can choose whatever option you want. But in this video, I'm just going to show you how to make a simple one. And it's just going to have the reboot, shut down, and, and well, log out is not uh, obvious. So it'll just be a reboot and shut down. All right. So one of the first things you want to do is uh, open up a uh, text editor. And keep in mind, I'm doing all of this in the version 3.0 of Linux Hub which I haven't released yet, but it's, it's coming soon. So just uh, hang tight and I'll have this version out. There's just a little ironing out I need to do on it. But once I get it all set up, I'll release it. All right, so here we're gonna use a program called YAD. So if you want YAD, you have to install it on your system. And basically you can get LAD, uh, YAD on, you know, Arch, Ubuntu base, on pretty much on everything. And you just do a simple sudo app install and yad 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 simple as that i already have it installed so if i try to install it it's going to tell you that it's already installed in the latest version yad is already the newest version so i don't have to install it again all right so yad is the program you want to install and i also have all these commands in the uh video description below so all right, so the first thing you want to do is open up just a plain text editor or your IDE, whatever you want to use, like Genie or anything like that. But I'm just opening up just a regular uh, text editor. So the first thing you type in is YAD. That tells it that it's YAD. And if you want it to open up at your mouse, you just do dash dash mouse, and it'll open up wherever you click on your mouse. If, if you set it up as a button, it'll open up right there where you click on it. But for this situation, we want to open it up in the center in the center of the screen. So I just type center. All right. And normally, GAD does not come out like this with no buttons or anything around it. I decorated it like this so it could just be blank. It'll just be a blank and just the options for you to select. So uh if you want the buttons to show up up here and all that, then you you don't put things like right here, like I put dash dash undecorate it. So this removes all the decorations. And it doesn't show up on your on your uh taskbar because I also put this other option on here. It's dash dash skip dash taskbar. And that way when it opens up, you don't get it, you don't get it in your taskbar and you don't get any decorations, any window decorations. It's just blank. Alright, and then another option is uh, if you want to give it a title. You could give it a, let's say, that and an equal. And inside there, you put down a, say like, for example, session manager. And put that in quotation marks. All right. And then uh, if you want the timer to show up on top, dash dash, timeout equals quotation marks. And for example, I'm going to use 20 seconds, so just 20. And then dash dash timeout dash indicator 
it's gonna sh it's just telling the window where to show the indicator. So you can put it on the left, right, top, or bottom. So I'm just gonna type in type and another quotation mark. So that's it right there. So I can open up this right now in a terminal and it'll open up a basic box. So I'll just show you right here. See, so it just, it just has these, these, these buttons come automatic. So the open, and as you can see the timer on top is just counting down. It's going to count down those, it's going to count down those 20 seconds. And once it counts down, it just closes automatically. All right. So I'll show you another example and I'm going to remove the buttons at all. So it's not going to have any buttons. So to do that, you just put dash dash no dash buttons and it's just going to be a plain of just a plain countdown see how the buttons are removed now it's just a countdown right now just by itself it's just showing you the, the display of the countdown so that's all it's doing all right so now we're going to get into the buttons themselves so you do a dash dash button equals and a quotation you put put all your your, your uh, commands inside of quotation marks so the first one is going to be a cancel button i'm just going to do a cancel button so type in cancel and the cancel code for yet is going to be just the number one so it's just that right there so i'll open this back up and we'll open this in the terminal oh the, I got to remove the no buttons because I, I removed the buttons. So I got to remove it now. So those other buttons are default buttons. Now that I do have a button on here, it's just going to have the cancel. It's not going to have the OK now. That's only if, if you do it uh, without any, any buttons at all. So boom, there you see it. Now it just has the cancel button. You don't get the OK dialog. You only get the cancel because that's the button that I chose. And I click on it and it turns off automatically. All right, so that's your first. So we want cancel actually to show up last. So I'm gonna put these other ones in front of it. So dash dash B U T T O N equals, and I'm putting in quotation marks. So inside of the quotation, the first one is gonna be reboot. On this system, reboot works simply by typing in reboot. It's a XFCE and it's, it's pretty much set up that way. Um, but on most systems, it's not going to work that way. One one uh, good trick that's pretty much system wide is if you write system CTL and then reboot. So I'll copy this, open it in the terminal. And this gives you the reboot option. So right here, I can reboot like this. And system CTL reboot pretty much works on uh, on most systems. Pretty much all that I've tested it on. So that's the reboot. And now let's do one for uh, the shutdown. So I'll do the same thing. Oops. So inside of the quotation marks, I'm going to call it shutdown. And then the command is going to be system CTL. And I believe it's power off. And with the quick option. Well, we'll test it out right now and see if that actually works. So let me try, let me try reboot first. No, it's not working and shutdown is not working. It's just too many arguments. Okay. So in order to do that, I'll just open up a web browser and I'll get the proper uh, system CTL reboot. And let's see what happens. Linux reboot restart command. So it's always good to open up a terminal and just uh, try to. So yeah, system CTL reboot should work system ctl so let me see what that what did i put down system ctl oh i didn't spell system ctl right so now that i got that in there let's see if the reboot works 
you know what let me save this first because if I uh, I'm gonna just save it on home and I'm just gonna call it a shutdown all right so that's saved now so when I reboot I can open it back up all right so there you go it's gonna reboot real quick and then uh, we'll take a look at it I'll fast forward all this okay so the system is rebooted now this is a sneak peek into the welcome the welcome screen you'll get on Linux Hub version 3.0 but I'll just go ahead and close that down open this back up and open up shutdown again and there we go all right so uh, that was a reboot so now we're gonna search for a shutdown system CTO shutdown so maybe system CTO power off is just all I need to type or is a system CTO halt that could be it like I said it, it it gets confusing, but this one usually works with all systems. So that's why I'm teaching it here now. So let me try system CTO power off and see if that right now I got it down as system CTO power off quick. That, that's probably not right. So let's try it right here. So we have the shutdown. Let's see if this works. And it does. Okay, so that time it did work. So uh, I'm gonna open it back up and do some more editing with it. So system CTL power off works and system CTL reboot works. And these should work system wide, whether you're on Arch, Fedora, Ubuntu, these, these, these button sessions right here should work. So now the next one we wanna create is a logout. So, just continue on creating your button and inside of the button I want to put logout and then let me find the system CTO command for logout so I'll do a system CTL logout To end all user processes and be sent back to the login screen, you can use kill91. You know what? Let's give that a try. Let's see if that works. So log out. I'll just paste it in. Kill-9-1. If that works, then uh, we got something to look forward to. If not, then we'll just keep searching. So let's test that out and see if it works. So let's try log out. And it does. All right. So we're here. We'll log back in. Okay. So luckily I did save it. So close the welcome screen. Open the file back up. And open it with Bluma so I can edit it some more. Okay. So that's your standard uh, reboot, shutdown, and log out. This is pretty much the whole button created right here. And you can see, you can just enter this in a terminal and it works automatically. But if you want to use it like a separate program, you have to do the, uh, oh, I think it's a dollar sign and that dash bin dash bash. And then you can set it up like a program itself. So let's say if I save this right now, go into my home folder, you have to go into the properties and under permission, allow execution as program. So close. So now I could just copy this itself and open it in a terminal and it should open up. Boom, there it is. And you could just add that to any button that you want and you could treat it like a, like a regular button. Okay, so that was a quick tutorial on how to make a uh, simple uh, YAD program. And in this case, it's a, a power menu or a session manager. 
So I hope you enjoyed it and uh, I'll bring more tutorials your old guys' way uh, in the near future. So that's going to do it for this video, okay? All right, you guys, and I'm out. Mm -hmm.